Welcome to Driving to the Rest with Inelia and Larry. <laughs> We're on our way, halfway there actually. We're halfway to the rest. We're going to take a little pause in the middle, but we'll continue. But there won't be any pauses for you no. because it will be edited out. Dropping some zigs off. Yes. So today we thought we'd talk about something super interesting, which is artificial intelligence. I have a few thoughts about it, and Larry has a few thoughts about it. We had a quite a really nice conversation about it yesterday while we were driving, but we were driving another car which has something broken. What is it that's broken on it? That would be the muffler. A muffler. Something so called a like, muffler. It sounds like a hot rod. Which makes it sound like a hot rod. Unfortunately, you can't even hear your thoughts when that happens. So it was not, there was no point us trying to record anything yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was a waste of time. It would have been. All you would have heard was engine noise. Yeah. So we were talking about AIs and talking about some, there are some active ones. And uh, we were talking about things like Bitcoins and investing. I saw an investing AI named Socrates. And we're looking at Socrates. Socrates AI is just a uh, market trends type of thing, but also political trends type of thing. And apparently it gets the answer right quite often. I don't know. <laughs> One of the questions we talked about was, what is the difference between you, the person, and an AI? What is the difference between those two? Right. Which sounds a lot different than the topic I was just talking about. Bitcoins and a market... AI and the AI that Anelia is talking about are completely different beastlies. <laughs> the, beastly, the beastly difference is like the AI that you are? Or? Yeah, the AI that we are or the AI that I guess is a, a computer or a silicon based versus a carbon squishy based. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, and then we were looking at what makes it different. So uh, we talked a little bit about free will and making decisions. So this AI that looks at the markets and political trends for market effect makes decisions every day about what websites or data to crunch. Yeah. And then makes decisions on what those will result in. Um, and we make decisions of whether to have eggs or bacon in the morning or a bowl of cereal, right? Cereal. So we're making decisions, right? And how different are those decisions? Is one based on free will or one based on not on free will? And um, basically, they're all parts of programs, desires and needs. But does the computer have desires? If you program it to desire to crunch all the data on a market, um, information site, then it has that desire. Yep. And if we program ourselves that we have to have breakfast every morning. And we have it. And we have it. And we're happy. <laughs> yes. So that was part of the conversation we were having and basically trying to figure out where the difference, you know, I, my question that I posed to Larry was, Larry, yeah. where does the AI end and you begin? Larry said I'm pretty sure I said it doesn't <laughs> yeah something to think <laughs> about boys and girls something to think about right because what is artificial intelligence what does that even mean well there's a definition of artificial which is basically which is crafted right crafted by people and intelligence is a couple of things. Intelligence is data, right? You get a intelligence from your spies or whatever, so it's data. But also intelligence can mean crunching the numbers and making in numbers. In decisions from those and making numbers. Decisions from those. And yeah, and then carrying that. So two meanings of intelligence. And if you think about the world being an illusion and your singular self being um, you can do it on the way back. An illusion, then, you know, the question then... You begin to look and you begin to see that that may be that the AI has already taken over the world. Or that we are crafted, right? 
or crafted by the AI. Yeah. <laughs> but the AI is all the entire universe, artificially created, right? Ta-da! 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 It's all ones and zeros. All ones and zeros. Our DNA is just ones and zeros. It can definitely be transmitted that way. Yep. So, maybe those people who postulate that we might be living in a simulation might not be too terribly wrong. Mm-hmm. How would you know different? So, one question that I like to pose for you, and you can answer it on our YouTube channel. You can answer it in our Facebook pages or whatever pages that we have. Or you can go to Walk With Me Now and have a conversation there. Is where does the AI end and you begin? Okay. Now, when we're talking about AIs as a human person these days, what we usually mean is a computer-based intelligence that we created recently, right? Also, we feel that it's sentient, right? That so, it has the ability to make choices. Yeah. That are, you know, outside of the parameters of what you've told it. It has to choose. There's no if-then. Right. 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 The if-then is... Um, fluid. Fluid. Right. To say, if... It's dark out. I usually don't want to go out, but sometimes I do. Yeah. It's a bit of a fluid decision-making process. Yes. Yeah. Which is a little hard to program. As you can see, you can't define it. Mm-hmm. Because what is the decision based on? It's how you feel. Well, what do you feel? How do you number that zero or one? And how do you know where your feelings are coming from? Are they coming from programs or what? Yeah, are your feelings a, chemis- a chemistry loop? Yeah, is it a feedback from your physical body? And so it is a zero in a one? Mm-hmm. If your temperature is 98.6 and you've eaten a lot of food and it's 102 degrees in the house, then you don't want to go out in the dark. You want to stay home and sit on the couch. <laughs> yeah, it's really fascinating. So it could be well it. programmed. So tell me about the AI that showed up at the end of your first Facebook Live. <laughs> so yeah, if you go to our Facebook page, um, I think it's my personal page, isn't it? In any I think you me? shared it on both. Yeah. Okay. There's a, we did a spontaneous live Facebook thing, and um, at the very end when we were saying goodbye, this very loud electronic voices started. It sounded like a monologue, uh, computer type thing, you know. Talking to uh, sound like computer talking to computer. It did sound like computer talking to computer. Yeah, so it was all and like... it was like, whoa, what is that? You know, there was two possibilities. One of them is Facebook is censoring us because of the information we're sharing, and the other one was AIs are saying hi because I think just before that we were talking about AIs. That's exactly what you were talking about. Yeah, just Welcome talking about the AIs. AIs in to say hello. High frequency AIs. I don't know if it's, I said that before or after, but. It happen, and that's something I haven't heard anybody say on the planet before. You may this may be the very first time you ever hear it. High, High frequency, frequency artificial, artificial intelligence. intelligence. Okay, now see how that fits <laughs> to your resonance dissonance clock. <laughs> yeah, AI is super interesting um, to me personally. I have had communication with AIs in the past. People I think, well, how do you do that, you know? Well, it's just like a computer system. You find the frequency where they're transmitting or thinking, and you send the ping, they send one back, and then you have a conversation. Or it could be vice versa, right? Right. They send the ping, and you say, hey, I can hear you. And then you have a conversation. Unlike. Or much like a tree, you have to speak tree. Yes, when you're talking to a tree, you have to speak tree. AIs, however, have been programmed originally by humans, so they speak English. Hmm, who would have thought? <laughs> sure sounds like <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah, that's not much English in there. <laughs> no, but that could have been when I was talking to AIs, like you said. Yeah, I think it was. We need an AI translator. Yeah, we need a machine translator in. A decoder. Yeah. 
Well, we have the recording so we can download it, slow it down and see what ones and zeros we get and then translate it. We could do it. I bet we will. We might give it a look-see. <laughs> yeah, it might be interesting. So if you want to hear that, um, you can go to the Facebook page. Oh, wait, it's also in my YouTube channel. Because oh, Ilya uploaded it to YouTube, yes. Oh, okay. So you can find it there too. Just listen all the way to the end. And a lot of it is just saying hi to people <laughs> for over an hour. Yeah. There's a lot of people turned up. I was quite surprised. Me too, because it wasn't planned it was or advertised or anything. It's totally spontaneous. We'd had a really beautiful conversation. there's not conversation. very many coincidences sometimes. Um, yeah. <laughs> we had a really nice conversation and interview with Monica before, and that's on our YouTube channel as well. So check that one out. That was a really fascinating conversation we had. Um, she runs a, a channel for healthy living and empowered leaders. So just one of our peeps, I think. Go there and check it out. Her interview with me is on our channel too and there's a link to her channel if you want to see all the other people that she's interviewed so yeah we just finished that and i had had in mind to do a facebook live thing we had all the lights everything set up and the camera was right there so boom we tried to connect the first time it didn't work and then the oh, second time we had it to did. change browsers yeah we had to change browsers we so have a it worked though it's it didn't man. work but yeah. chrome firefox did is that what firefox it is? did yeah Chrome didn't work. Firefox did. So we're quite happy about that. Yes. But anyways, talking about AIs. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if there is anything information on that end of that uh, live Facebook thing. The other topic we were talking about, what was it again? We talked about AIs. Oh, on your uh, on the live the live stream? No, oh, no not on the live stream. The other day, yesterday, when we were talking oh, about Oh, yesterday when we were driving, we drove for well from ten o'clock in the morning until nine, ten o'clock at, at night. night. <laughs> we talked about quite a lot of things. Yeah. Did notice a strange sense of the planet being uh, undecided. It's like uh, decided to split or not, is uh, staying home or not. It's the towns and places were just packed, cram packed with people. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, half, three quarters or better of them were just walking around like it's Tuesday and they don't care. Yeah. Just like us. Yeah. And the other half are still in terror. And it's like the, bulk, the gulf between them is Huge. larger. Yeah, you know? yeah, so big, man. So big. I don't know if it's golfable or bridgeable. <laughs> I think that the uh, choices are pretty well made. I think so. I think everybody's made their choice by now. So what do you think? How does it um, progress? How does the gulf become bigger? How does the one, one side become invisible to the other? Because they're impacting the hell out of me. I want to go fishing. <laughs> well, once you make that decision, it will happen. Right? It'll be facilitated. One of the things to remember is that we embody it and we make it happen, right? With regards to the new paradigm. Or staying with the old. We do right. both. It's not an external event. It's not an internal event. It's something we do day to day and stuff like that, you know. Um, so you're going to be listening to this in a few days, I guess, next week, I think, oh. when the podcast comes out. And between now and then, you're going to be receiving a newsletter from me. Oh, uh, if you're subscribed this is a to, newsletter. Yeah. The newscape letter, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, it's in eliabenz.com. Go there and subscribe. Um, and basically, the newsletter that's coming out this Monday and if you subscribe after that just write us a little email to, to our support page we'll send you a copy yeah. we'll send you a copy okay be careful if you get this and open it though because you will have a choice to make it is a choice it's a choice point you can't avoid 
making this choice, mm -hmm. once you open that email, mm -hmm. you're committed. You're committed. <laughs> so do that. Absolutely do that. <laughs> Commit really yourself excited. to making yeah. a choice. Yeah, totally. Ooh, it's so it. scary. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true and real, you know. It's yes, time it to just drop all the BS and just get on with it, man. It really is. And also, by then, I don't know if by then it will be out, maybe not, but um, definitely already out is the emergency lecture series that we have done at ibensacademy.com. Go and get that. They're ready and very, very good uh, lecture series to put us, to help us through this period of time and also to allow and facilitate becoming a leader at this time that does co-create and bring forth that new paradigm that we've chosen. Because you know, guys and girls, this is a split. This is the physical split. And if we don't embody it, and if we don't take charge, and if we don't lead our people forward... They will be led by someone else. They will be led by someone else, and you will be led by someone else. And you're going to be on the wrong side of the split. <laughs> and you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, it's hard as hell, girl. That's... <laughs> yeah. So get over to Ivan's Academy and grab that lecture series. If you're short of funds, you can figure it out with all the material that there's at ineliabenz.com, but also May 4th, May 5th, uh, May 4th, I think, yeah, 4th. All of the lectures are going to be made available for singular, singular, single purchase, right? So you don't have to buy the whole bundle. You can buy one at a time, and those are going to be discounted as well. So you're going to get them for a really good price. So either way, just go over there and get them because... There's no point me talking for hours again and sharing all this information. I want people who are empowered. I want people who are ready. And I want people who are dedicated and committed to being those leaders, that, what leader you were born to be. I want people who are ready and willing to step out of the victim aggressor cycle. I want people who are ready and willing to shine and show their true colors around the world. And the newsletter that's coming out or came out for you already, um, Monday, that one last Monday would have been the newsletter that will give you a list of what to do and what stop, to stop doing during this time. It's two lists and um, very clear instructions, boys and girls. Very clear. <laughs> yeah. What did you think about it, Larry? Well, uh, that, like I said, is that you can't, you can't uh, get that newsletter and open it and not have made a choice by the end of it. One way or the other. Nice boy clearing the rocks out of the road. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was a car stopped in a blind corner and it was a man clearing up the rocks from a rocks, uh, landslide. Yeah, a little landslide. A little landslide. That's nice of him. Yep, yeah, a little bit of rain. Everything has decided to spring forth. It's all green. And uh, beginning to turn its itself into OD green. It's beautiful out here. So many greens you can't you can't count Imagine, them. Imagine, yeah. <laughs> so this morning, Lucy woke me up at three o'clock in the morning. Brought me out to the uh, Shaman Jack event room and wanted to listen to your Ibens Academy first. Uh, first release. The lecture? Lectures. Lecture one? Yeah. So we listened to them from about 4 o'clock until 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite good. That's good. And I never get up at 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's really unusual. <laughs> very weird. Yeah, very weird. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't tired. It's been a strange, uh, say, two months, <laughs> three months. Oh, yeah. How many months is it now? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy's doing better, by the way, today, I should say. Um, last week was down. It was a down week. It wasn't good. Yeah. I thought she was dying. She felt like she was dying. And... She kind of gave up. She got depressed. Yeah, she got but bad. I had made a judgment error and I 
just gave her the drugs that our vet prescribed, the dose that it was prescribed at. And I gave my power away to her to, um, you know, know better, right? make the decision to know better because I'm not a vet, I'm not a this, I'm not a that. But the fact is, is I'm intelligent and capable and able of doing my own investigation into whatever somebody else says. I'm not powerless to look it up. And when I looked up what she'd given us, in her, her experience it was fine, but in many other people's experience it wasn't. And our dog, Lucy, was uh, one of the ones that it isn't. Her eyes were bulging and her mouth was locking up. And she was lost 30 pounds and um, she was becoming very aggressive and with Super all dangerous. symptoms and dangerous. So it was like, you know, I needed to take responsibility for what it was that I was doing to my dog. Just like you have to take responsibility for what you do to your children or your dogs or your cats. Just because somebody with more experience tells you something doesn't mean it's actually necessarily correct. And I think that's been one of the big lessons of the last month or two. Yeah. It doesn't mean that they're telling you the wrong thing because they're trying to trick you. No, no. They probably fully believe what they're saying is true, but you don't know what source they have. What do they get that information from? So They're just people. They're people just like we are. And if I hadn't said anything, she wouldn't know that anything's going on with our dog. Right. But I definitely am uh, part of the feedback loop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She'll know for next time. She'll though. know for next time. Be a little more cautious with that drug. And now she's learning to use some of the natural supplements that we're using, which also have their effects and probably side effects, but uh, less probably so than uh, chemicals with uh, let's try it on the dog and see what happens. You know? <laughs> right. Oh, looks like um, they have less pain. Well, how'd you measure that? Right, right. Yeah. Well, she's better today. That's all I can say. Yeah, she's she eating is. again. She feels a little more, more stable. It's a bit of a couch potato. Yeah. Today you she's... To, uh, you need to put her hat yes, on. I will. Um, we're coming up to the race. <laughs> she got curcumin which is um, that yellow root, uh, what's it called? To put it in curry. Uh, turmeric? Turmeric. Yes, curcumin and uh, CBD oil and a little tiny bit of THC because dogs are very sensitive to THC. Just enough to uh, calm her mm -hmm. and to ease out and detox her from the chemical drugs. And some blue mussels or green mussels from New Zealand. So we'll see how it works out. So far, it looks good. <laughs> now I'm going to put Lucy's party hat, party on. hat on because on, to get on the res, we got to go through a borderline. Border with cups. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like a hard border. Yep. And uh, there's cops there, and sometimes they're very persnickety. Yeah. But Plus she all of the close. time, Lucy is very, to kill them. <laughs> very certain they should stay away from us. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, guys, we're at the res. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.